I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapon, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve them. Hey, what's up, guys? Darkbreaker here, and welcome to my World Drift Guide for Gregors. As you guys can see, we were top 1 Gregors for quite some time, but currently we are like in the top 5. But regardless, I will try to explain to you how to play Gregors in solo queue, what is the best build for him. In my opinion, it's going to be Road of Age into Lich Bane, cooldown reduction boots, then Infinity Orb, Rabadon, and then Void Stuff. Also, we are going to explain, or I'm going to explain you how to use his combos, what are his skills, and how his kit exactly works. So, let's hop right into a custom match. Gregor's passive is Happy Hour, and whenever he casts an ability, he gets some HP back. So, for the first ability, it's Barrel Roll. You throw a barrel, it does damage. You can cast it immediately or after a few seconds to do more damage. The second skill is Drunken Rage. You get damage reduction and your next auto attack does enhanced damage and splash damage. The third skill is Body Slam. Whenever you use this you can dash and stun the opponent. And for the ultimate we have Explosive Cast. You throw a huge barrel that either pushes the opponents away or pulls them towards you depending on where you throw the ultimate and it does tons of damage. So let's talk about some combos you can do on Gregors. You can see I prepared the S1 right before this just so that I can pull him with the ultimate. Let's wait a bit. You can see the barrel gets red. That means it does enhanced damage. I pull him with the ultimate and do a lot of damage and I, <laughs> I messed up the dash flash combo. You can, en uh, you can enhance your range by using Flash. And let's hop right into the gameplay now. Those were some basic combos. I mean, Gregus has a pretty simple kit. It's not like he's very hard to play. You can either prepare your, um, your Q, your Barrel. And when it's about to pop, you use your ultimate to pull your opponent right into the Barrel. And then you will do a lot of damage. Or in team fights, you want to use your second skill first so that you get the damage reduction and your next auto attack is going to do uh, splash damage and bonus damage. And then you use your flash in combination with your E on top of the opponents. Um, they, it does so much damage. Use your Q to slow the opponents and then use your ultimate to do. Yeah, use the ultimate as a finisher move and. For the rune, I forgot to mention it. Uh, whenever you're using three auto attacks, three abilities onto someone, uh, they are taking additional damage. The skill order in which you want to level up your skills on Gregors is the ultimate first, then the first ability, then the third ability, and then the second ability. So it's R, Q, E, W. Uh, for you guys wondering, um, first skill is Q, second skill is W, uh, third skill is E, and ultimate is R, uh, which uh, is basically uh, how you level up your skills in the lower PC version. So, since we are playing Gregus in the mid lane, and we are playing against Eri, we want to play a little bit safe, to be honest, since she can poke us a lot in the early game. We want to get that Road of H uh, pretty soon, so we can stack up those HP and AP stacks from Road of H. Missing 500 gold though. Okay, Eri is moving down maybe, or she's trying to trap, or she's helping. Oh, never mind, the enemy jungle jungle is top, so Ari is just going for a gank. I should have pinked, to be fair. 
Let's hope he doesn't die. I, I should have pinged him. I knew she was going bot, but I didn't ping it. So, my bad. Remember, um, yeah, when you see that your laner is missed, then try to help your teammate out by just Allies pinging. Lane. Yeah, uh, now, yeah, that's my bad. That's actually my bad by not pinging him. I know sometimes when you're laning, you're just so focused on CSing and trading correctly that you don't really pay attention too much to the minimap so it's always nice when your teammates just ping when someone is missing so it makes it easier can we escape yep we do nice but yeah i'm i'm a bad teammate i didn't ping for my mates it's bad man okay let's reset we're going for backport going to get road of age now Oh yeah, do you guys want to see uncut gameplay? Like, I'm not sure if you guys prefer uncut gameplay or maybe just a little bit cut gameplay when I'm backporting or when I'm dead. I can just speed it up or I just let it be and don't do anything. I'm not sure what's the preference. I know in like most LOL PC YouTubers they just cut a lot but the gameplay is much longer. And I always like to see the laning phase and stuff like that and they they usually tend to cut so much out and only show the highlights and I'm not sure if that's useful to just show the highlights because you want to see the laning phase, the rotation, um, all the pros, uh, progress in the game. It's really important to pay attention to every detail during the game and if I just, just cut only the highlights it's kind of... I mean, you don't learn by just seeing highlights, you learn by seeing how I lane, how I rotate and how I help my... Like in the mid lane, Gregor is actually super strong just because of his rotation. Uh, if you get a prio, prio in your lane by pushing your wave in, and then you can help out your teammate really quickly, especially the jungler when he wants to get scuttle, which gives... Oh, can we kill him? Nice! which gives vision and movement speed, which is really important. Uh, vision control, roaming ability, just from scuttle. And you just know the positions of the opponents much easier when you have more vision and scuttle is really good at covering um, the major objectives, which are Dragon and Baron. So right now we have 2.8k in the pocket, we get cooldown reduction boots, we get Sheen and we are going to prep for Lich Bane soon. Listen, is ganking bot lane. Scuttle is up, I guess I can do a, a solo scuttle. Ari is in the top lane right now, she gets a kill. We get scuttle though, we should uh, push our wave in, she actually gets a double buff. So, good roam by her. Yeah, I think we can go for Herald actually. The mid wave is pushed in, Ari is top lane, we have Scuttle, so... Three people, Ari is still not there. I think we can rush this. Might be risky actually, because the support and mid laner are coming right now, if you pay attention to the minimap. Might be risky. I try to stun him right here and ultimate we nuke him and get the kill. Just trying to help. Let's dash in. And I think I didn't mention it yet, but you, when you hit someone with the barrel, they are getting slowed. And when you hit someone with the dash, you, um, you stun them and also the cooldown reduction is getting reduced from the dash. I did the skill explanation uh, really quick uh, because I think most people know the kit anyways. Uh, the kit is pretty simple, the combos are very simple so I try to uh, keep it as short as possible. Because it's it's a very simple kit, Gregus is really simple to play and he's one of the best mid laners and top laners right now. Pulling him in. Now Q, E flash and we get another kill. Listen is jumping onto us and we immediately use our W. 
I'm not sure whether or not you prefer me to say it like PC, W, Q, E or want me to say S1, S2 but you want to use your skills to heal up with a passive but it's 7 second cooldown, remember that one Okay, let's get this one Shove in the wave and now let's see if we can help our Yasuo who's fighting against any and Shida is immediately nice, well done. I'm on it. The dragon has spawned. Yeah, if you want to push in solo queue, I would recommend Gregas. He is uh, really strong right now. One of the best mid laners, one of the best top laners. And do you guys want to see a tier list? Maybe for Wild Drift. What are the best heroes for... Okay, this is super greedy. I used my Zonyas, but this one still kills me. Uh, where was I? Yeah, tier list. Do you guys want to see a tier list for solo queue? What are the best heroes right now um, for each role um, for pushing? Maybe I could do E Flash here. I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yikes. I think she survives. Yeah, I was barely not in range and I messed it up. Okay, triple kill by Yasuo, well done. Nicely done. Oh yeah, this footage is a little bit old, but... It's platinum, but you have to consider when it when I was recording this. This was platinum was one of the highest ranks or was the highest rank. So this is still pretty high elo gameplay. Um, the same players are in the same rank right now. So platinum players right now in this footage are like uh, high emeralds or maybe diamonds. Right now I'm Diamond 3, so that's top 30. Oh, okay. Don't get him. But as you guys can see, the damage on Gregor's is absolutely crazy when you're ahead. You can just keep poking, uh, poking the opponents. And then you just use your W, dash in, and you will do a lot of damage thanks to Lich Bane and uh, infinity orb if you guys didn't know infinity orb abilities and empowered attacks quit for 20 percent bonus damage against enemies below 35 percent hp and for lich bane spellblade is the passive using an ability causes the next attack used within 10 seconds to deal bonus magical damage equal to 75 base a uh, physical plus 50 percent ap so those the combination of lich bane and infinity orb makes the s2 of gregor's do so much damage so those are definitely core items road of age lich bane and infinity orb for the early game then for the late game rabadon which increases the ability power by 40% and for the late game you want Void Staff for the magic penetration once all your opponents have a lot of magic resistance and Void Staff gives you plus 40% magic penetration so even if they have a lot of uh, magic resistance you will still do a lot of damage so when you see that the opponents are stacking up magic resistance, you always want to get ma magic penetration. Okay, he's coming. Oh, he actually managed to charm me. Okay, this <laughs> we already took so much damage actually. I was pressing, I was pressing Zonyas, but because of the charm, I it didn't pop. That was actually well played by Ari and bad played by me to be honest. I should have been able to win this, maybe use my Zonyas, time it correctly to um, 
yeah, block Ari's uh, charm, but I messed it up. I tried to dash in. She still had the ultimate and dashed away, then charged me. And that's how she outplayed us. The best case would have been to use my ultimate, to push her towards me. While I'm using my W, I used my E. Oh, I forgot to mention it. Um, while dashing, you can use your second skill. So you, you basically gain more time by not wasting time waiting for the W and just using your E while using W. I think it uh, sounds complicated. Maybe I should say S2 and S3 more. So while you are drinking, you can use your E and you just basically don't waste time drinking for, <laughs> for so long. It's just about efficiency and that's how you do it. You use your second skill and while using your second skill you use your dash and then you can engage onto the opponent at the same time. You can also just move while using your second skill, you don't have to stand still. Don't be afraid to engage on Gregus using his dash in. Um, I see a lot of Gregus players that just play him uh, purely poking, poking, but you can also do a lot of damage by just... Uh, let's see, I dash in and I do so much damage with my auto attacks as well. And remember, if you do a good dash, flash, so uh, third skill in combination with your flash, you can stun your opponents. You can stun like three opponents at the same time. Then use your second skill, so you get damage reduction and your next auto attack is going to do bonus damage. Then you flash into the opponents using your E, if they are getting stunned. Use your auto attack, use your first skill, your barrel, to slow them to do a lot of damage. And then with the ultimate you can finish them off. And that's basically how you can initiate a team fight. But obviously poke them a little bit and then do the combo I just mentioned. And let's ward here. Got this one as well. Okay, Elder Cloud is up. Jin is here. Let's poke him maybe a little bit. Yeah, we shouldn't force this one yet. Like in this in these situations, you want them to come and then turn on them. That's basically the whole point because Oh my wait, my ultimate just did the triple kill alone. That's crazy. And we get the quad kill. Listen is alive, come on! Listen, come to us, give us the Panther kill. Yeah, he's he's already backporting. He's already gone. Yeah, listen. Feels bad, man. But it's fine. We get the Cloud Elder Dragon. We get a quad kill. That's pretty sick. I think we can just finish the game right here. The others already took the top. The free tower. Maybe we can kill this guy. We got him. Now ultimate nuke him. Oh. Yeah, the Nexus is already dead. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and this commentary and, and the guides. If you guys want to see more, then leave a like, subscribe, and I see you next time. Write down in the comments for which champs you would like to see a guide, and I see you for tomorrow's video. Bye bye.